I'm gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna do it right now. Just smile and laugh. Okay. What? Do it. Right. Maybe leave the scythe. Maybe leave the scythe back at the truck. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time on the channel, what's up? If this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back. Howdy doody, everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend, a wonderful month. It is February. I'm trying to think of like when this video will come out. Probably this video will probably come out in March. So we're getting pretty close to my birthday and hopefully the end of winter, slowly but surely. But you know, to get us through these long, cold winter months, what better than, you know, bloodshed and destruction, you know, the usual. So the movie that we're gonna watch today is a movie that has been requested probably like at least once or twice a month for the last year and a half. And there was a couple polls that I had put up on YouTube. There was a couple polls that I had put up on Patreon over time. And there was definitely a bunch of votes for this movie, but it never came out as, you know, number one. So I didn't pick that one. But today we are going to watch it because I wanna see what the hell this movie is about. So today we are watching 2010's Tucker and Dale versus E. The only thing that I know about this movie is that Alan Tudyk, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Alan Tudyk, he is in this movie. Aside from that, I know that it is like a horror comedy, and I, I don't know, I didn't read the description, but it was like the first two words of the description was like something like affable hillbillies. So like the name alone kind of, you know, leads me to believe that that's what we were going to be dealing with. But other than that, like, I don't, I don't know, is this a slasher movie? Is this a, a, a supernatural movie? A zombie movie? I don't, I have no idea. But we're gonna find out. If you are the type of person who already has their Halloween costume planned, e even though it's March, then you're my type of person. And you should like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. If you are like myself and you believe that a onesie is not a Halloween costume, then you should check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter. If you are the type of person that specifically picks their Halloween costume based on the improbable event that you might end up turning into your costume, then you should check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive exclusive catalog of full-length reactions, to movies and TV shows, all stuff that is not on YouTube, full-length audio commentaries, polls, and cool stuff like that. We got all the housekeeping out of the way. I'm excited to get into this because y'all have been asking for this for like a year and a half now. Without further ado, let's check out Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Are you sure we should be doing this? This is still a crime scene. Sack up, Billy. It's called investigative journalism for a reason. Is this found footage? I really thought that this was like a regular. Not that I mind. I just thought that I didn't realize it was found footage. What? Who did that? What is that? What is that? Was that a zombie? I don't know what that was. Three days ago. Okay, so it's not a found footage movie. Appalachian Mountains, oh no, oh no, oh no. You wouldn't catch my ass in the Appalachian Mountains. Not after wrong turn. <laughs> so you're either Omega Beta or you're a freak. Omega Beta! Omega, 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 Omega Beta! I'm in a car full of morons. It would appear that way. What in the Jerry Springer? Wait, are those like, are those Tucker and Dale? Maybe that's who that is, I don't know. Can I help you? Why does he look like that? <laughs> Alan Tudyk is something else. Oh, I just flash back to Serenity. Oh no, oh no. Trauma. <laughs> good God. I don't know why y'all thought going to the Appalachian Mountains was a good idea. A group of teenagers going to the Appalachian Mountains. Really queen? Stopping at a weird gas station. Y'all, get it together. Pickled eggs, six pounder. Oh, pickled eggs? What the f are pickled eggs? What is that? Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Talk to her? What in the world would I say? Girls can smell fear now, come on. She probably smells the pickled eggs. Probably not the fear. She's probably smelling the pickled eggs. I'm gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna do it right now. Just smile and laugh. Okay. What? Do it. Right. Maybe leave the scythe. Maybe leave the scythe back at the truck. <laughs> With, with, with this, with, with, uh. Going camping? <laughs> <laughs> what a dingus. <laughs> I always get all stupid, my hands get clammy, and I just I act like a big fat idiot. You know what your problem is? You got an inferiority complex. 
No, I don't. I feel like he needs to go on like farmersmingle.com. Or, well, I don't know if he's a, what, uh, Appalachian Mingle? Cannibalistic inbreeding hillbilly Mingle? I don't fucking know. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got a rag. Here, move your arm. Stand your arm in your crotch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the what the f <laughs> Hey! It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Naughty boys. Where are you two headed? We are headed to our vacation home up by Morris Lake. There ain't nothing up there but pain and suffering on a scale you can't even imagine. Oh, well, well, maybe we, we should turn back. Ooh. Heed the warning. Heed the warning. Listen, you tell me, wherever I'm going, if somebody, I don't care who, I don't care who it is. I don't care. It could be a toddler in a gas station. I don't care. If somebody was like, don't go, you will die. I'm not going. No, ma'am. Oh, my God. It's perfect. And what'd they call this, a fixer-upper? They call that the Deadite Base Camp. <laughs> Don't go in there. Oh no, oh no. With, with the cobwebs? That's all you had to say, cobwebs. Cobwebs, I'm not doing it. I'm not going in there. Wish I fucking would. Oh, and he's just touching them. Oh, oh well, whoever no. Whoever used to live here must have been a, an archeologist or something. Uh, th no, the Hewitt family. <laughs> the Hewitt family used to live there. Leave. Chubby's Chili Dog Depot. I like how that's the article that he focuses in on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I guess we should fix that. Probably. Death to all of them. You can get off of me now. Hey, so if you have a reoccurring dream about sucking a dick, but you never do it, are you gay? See, this is, this is, this is a movie for the gays. It's David Pierre. <laughs> Lots of homoeroticism. That was 20 years ago today. What the, what the, okay, all right. How a bunch of college kids. That's um, um the blonde girl, she, the, they were smoking. She's uh, she, she was in the tanning bed in Final Destination 3. Hey queen. And honestly, I, I'm fairly certain that this one in the blue, I could be wrong. I think that's the one from the opening. That was uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's boyfriend, I think. Yep, that's me. Hey man, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, put that back on. No, Ew. Oh, this is cool, this is cool, I like this. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Uh, well, she's dead. Hey, there's a lake back there. Who wants to go skinny dipping? I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Have y'all ever went skinny dipping? I've never done that. I don't know. The allure of it was has just never been there for me. I mean, granted, I would not want to like force this visual on the world, but I don't know. Especially in like a lake, a remote lake. That's like, I don't know. I wouldn't even want to go in that. That's how things like swim up your urethra and oh, no. You are better than everyone else. You and I, Allie, are cut from a different cloth. You know what I mean? Not with the popped collar that you have going on right now. You're not. Oh, well, this is 2010. Okay, that makes sense. That was that was the thing. Y'all remember when people used to wear multiple polos and there would be like six different co- Oh, oof. glad that got nipped in the bud. Okay, okay. Come on, stop. Why? Because she said stop. That's, that's why. That's why you stopped, because she said stop. Hush. It's the way that she's like delicately like removing her clothes like very seductively, but she's just supposed to be in the woods, you know? <laughs> just casually skinny dipping at night. Ah! Ah! God damn it, Dale, what the hell is the well, matter with you? Me, what did I do? Is it confirmed that there's like nothing in the lake? I'm assuming that whatever we saw at the beginning was supposed to be whatever the bad guy is. That, what was that, zombies? Or is it like a weird cabin fever type thing where like people are getting infected? Blech. Hopefully not, that movie was sick. <laughs> did she hit her head or something? Ah, we got your friend! Oh God, they got Allison! <laughs> Oh my god, idiots. Although I feel like that would probably be my reaction too. <laughs> Cause y'all know me, I'm not trying to save nobody. Nope, I see one person got got, I'm out. I'm gonna miss you, girl! They captured Allison! <laughs> Also, I thought they were supposed to be skinny dipping. They're all still wearing clothes. Boxers, nonetheless. Don't, don't, don't cry. No, please don't come for me. It's the pancakes. You hate pancakes. I'm, I'm gonna make you something else. 
I'll just. Aw. Is this supposed to be like reversing what we would typically think would happen in this sort of situation? <laughs> because they're actually like nice people. But it looked like one of the guys was eating her face off. That is so disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. It's just a cabin. It doesn't mean they're psycho killers. Oh yeah? Then why don't you go in there and talk to them? All right, maybe I will. No, you won't. I like how he's like, they're not psycho killers when from their perspective, their friend was just abducted and taken to the, the, the cabin in the woods, okay? I mean, I would assume that they were killers. I mean, the twist of the movie might be that they actually are killers, I don't know. Uh, dove in and rescued you. Where are my friends? They ran off. They they just left me? Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, you remember that conversation earlier about how you think you're better than everyone? Those friends, you probably are. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't look like much to a high class girl like you, but you know, we've always just had sort of a dream to have our own vacation home. Anyway, you should relax and rest. Oh, he's nice. He's sweet. I like him. That's Dale, right? Dale? Yeah, Dale is sweet. Uh, Dale? Yeah? Do you guys have anything to, to do around here? Do you like board games? What kind do you have? I like how she took the bandage off of her head that clearly had like a bloody wound on it and she took the bandage off of her head and now she just no longer has a wound on her head. <laughs> what is that? Are those bees? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, now he's gonna come running out with the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> oh, I spit. What you? Uh, Y'all, oh my, this idiot. This idiot, because they're going to think that he killed him now. <laughs> what the f is this movie? <laughs> uh, okay, shoot. Who was the fifth president of the United States? Can we just talk about the fact that she fell into the water and got a head wound? So she was soaking wet, right? When they pulled her out of the boat, but she woke up and her hair is perfectly done. Like with, with, with perfect like waves and curls. And Although that's generally how it works in these movies, so. So many of the major conflicts in the world are caused by a lack of communication. That is true. I always thought that I'd, I'd make a really good therapist. No, don't, don't! My parents say the same thing. No, I, I think he meant the chair. I think he meant don't lean into the beam that almost killed them the day prior. Oh God, Tucker, what happened to your face? I saw it in two bees' nest. We came out here to work. What the fuck? Ah, oh God, it's giving, it's giving bridesmaids when she pours the peas on the tattoo. <laughs> You have to keep it in the bag and put the bag on it. Hey, how about I come over there and I pull those stingers out of your face and then I'll help you with whatever you want. All right, I'd like that, thank you. Okay. Will pulling the stingers out of his face alleviate what is on his face? Is he gonna have to go through the rest of the movie with that on his face? Be careful, okay? I, my friends can be kind of judgmental. I uh, know, I'm gonna let Tucker do most of the talking anyway. He can win over just about anybody, can't you, Tucker? Real people person. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that that's somehow going to be incorporated into the next, oh my God, he's a murderer or whatever. They're going to see his face and be like, what the fuck? You fucking quit it with this thing, okay? It doesn't work out here. <clears throat> we got to get to the road and try to catch right out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I w uh, oh no. Somebody's coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, the answer was I saw that is? It's the fact that she's running through the woods thinking that she's being pursued by serial killers and she's still got the purse, <laughs> just carrying along the purse. Maybe we could leave them a note in case they come back. Right, with what? All right, please hurry up. My okay. face is as hot as a hemorrhoid right now. <laughs> as hot as a hemorrhoid? Are hemorrhoids hot? What does a hemorrhoid look like? We got your friend. <laughs> oh, I like them. Well, specifically Dale. Tucker's fine, I guess, but Dale, he's the MVP so far. Well, we left them a note. They, they should be by here any minute. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm digging a shitter hole. I'm, uh. I'm digging a crap, crapper hole. It's a sh <laughs> I'm building a shitter hole. <laughs> I grew up on a farm. It's either help out or get out. That's a good rule. I've done this before, believe it or not. Ooh. Are they gonna end up together? I hope so. They're cute together. I like it, I like it. Are you gonna help or are you just gonna stand there staring at me? Uh -huh. That's right, you help her. You help her dig the shitter hole. Falling in love in the shitter hole. Oh good look, your friends are here. <gasps> oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no my God. They're so tough, they're so tough. <laughs> 
Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. You know he's going in the damn wood chipper. Oh, ugh. <laughs> the way he just dove to his own death. <laughs> just dove to his death. <laughs> that is nasty. Is he dead? Some kid, he just hooked himself right into the wood chipper. What? Head first right into the- Dove right in. <laughs> oh God, oh God. College kids, okay. They must have went to the same college that Julian Carla did. You know what else, Tucker? Tucker, I think they're trying to kill her too. Yeah, think about it. That's why they acted so funny after we saved her because they want her dead. This is hilarious. Hilarious. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I like the writing, the way that the, they're being like pitted against each other inadvertently because they're all just fucking confused and dumb. I love it. I love it. I right, listen, we gotta work together, okay? We never should have come out here. I mean, whose stupid idea was this? Chad. Well, that's what you get for following somebody named Chad. Like, there is a reason that that name became like a cultural thing. How many people do you think get a chance for something like this? The chance to die. Ch right. <laughs> what the f are you talking about? When I watch these movies and I'm just like, and there's always like that one person that's a part of the group that's like incredibly fucking annoying and crazy like him. Like, uh, what's his face? Trent in the Friday the 13th remake. You okay, bro? Everything good? Yeah, everything's fine, but I'm not your bro. So you don't wanna be friends after this? You don't wanna hang out? One of the worst characters that has ever appeared on film ever in, in, in everything. Like in other universes and other, everywhere. Horrible. But it makes you think like, why would anybody be friends with a person like this? I mean, it would make sense if like everybody sort of behaved just like him, that you know, birds of a douchebag feather flock together and all that jazz. But like them, they all seem like relatively nice. Why the fuck are they hanging out with him? Slow down now. <laughs> Okay. Something is about to happen. One of them is about to get inadvertently get killed again or something. Oh, look, I'm gonna wedge it from that side and you pull him out uh, on three. Okay. Right? One. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Take it up. Take it up. Take Ew, look at that. Oh, 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 blah. Oh, God. Oh, this is, this is, this is not a good look. This is not a good look, y'all. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think the sheriff is about to bite it. I feel like what's this, the, the idiot's gonna, like, throw the axe from the woods and accidentally hit the sheriff. You say you were just working when this kid ran up and stuffed his head into that wood chipper? I, I mean, technically, that literally is what happened. She can maybe explain the whole thing. If 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 uh if I hadn't knocked her unconscious with a shovel <laughs> on accident. Just stop talking. Just please stop talking. Well, not that it matters. I'm telling you, the sheriff's about to bite it. What's he doing? Why doesn't he fucking arrest them? B because he's not a good cop. <laughs> like what the. F the fact that he even stood there having a conversation with these men while they're holding half of a body. <laughs> Officer, do we look like a couple of psycho killers to you? A little bit. Just a skosh. I cannot. I cannot with this movie. <laughs> An idiot. Oh, oh, oh. I'll see you walking right now, Tuck. He looks like he's gonna walk it off. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> looks like he's just gonna walk it off. He has full nails through his head. <laughs> this movie is so dumb. I love it. It's so amazing, and I would play it again and again and again and again. No, no, no. Oh, you gotta take the safety off on the side there. Don't tell him. <laughs> Dale, Dale. Oh God, it's like Halloween kills all over again. Oh shit, oh, oh, oh. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. For being such a goddamn good Samaritan. Oh my God, she's drowning, Tucker. Oh, let's save her. This is why I always say, mind your own business. <laughs> Look what happens when you help people. <laughs> Wait, who is he looking for? The dog? Hey, Hillbilly! You better. You better not. You better not. You better not. Don't do it. Not the dog. Not the dog. <laughs> They're gonna shoot him with the nail gun. <laughs> This is not gonna help your case. They're all, like, all of these teenagers are gonna die by the end of the movie. And then it's just gonna be the blonde girl that's left and then they're gonna like fall in love. That, that's what I hope happens. <laughs> hey, college kids, you want some of this? 
Watch out for the dog. Where is the dog? Where, where's the location of the dog? Out of the way of the nails, preferably. The dog only has one eye. Like, uh, let's let's keep the other one intact. If you kill my dog, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'll get really mad. Bring out the girl. <laughs> I love Dale. <laughs> it is a beautiful day for a run, isn't it? Oh no, oh no. He's a dead man. <laughs> She's still got the purse too. She's got the high heels and the purse. At least she's committed to the look. Oh, oh God, please, no. Well, shit. How will our heroes get out of this one? This is for Mike. No! That is no! Oh my God, what did he just do? What did he just do? What did he just cut off? Oh no, Tucker got injured. Well, shit, what the hell we gonna do now? That really ain't good. This is, this is just, this is just not good for anybody involved. What are you doing? I'm embarrassed, I'm sorry. I can't cry in front of a it's girl, okay. goddamn. It's okay, it, it, it's It's good to, to cry sometimes. <laughs> she suffered a lot of head injuries over the last 24 hours. Like multiple that literally left her unconscious for hours. <laughs> like she'd be a vegetable. Do some of your friends take medication? Why? Because I think they forgot to take it. Because <laughs> one of them threw himself into a damn wood shepherd. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's all just a big misunderstanding. We'll, we'll... If she gets killed right now, she better not. She better not. She better not. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought she was gonna like open the door and an ax was gonna come flying through. Oh, small favors, small favors, thank you. That's from Tucker's shirt. What is that? Oh my God. Oh no, they cut off his Fingers. Oh, Tucker. Leave Dale alone. I mean, I like Tucker, but leave Dale alone. Now we got your friend. Try and get him. Where did they get the, the, the paper and the pen from? <laughs> like, is it in, is it in, what was her name in Final Destination 3? Ashley or Ashlyn or something? Is it in her purse that <laughs> she's been carrying around the woods? When we first saw you guys, we just thought that, that you looked a, 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 a little creepy. I was nervous. I, I don't know how to talk to girls. You were holding a scythe. Oh, little sweetie, Dale. Oh. I mean, I would have been afraid too, but you know. Dale, it's, it's not, it's not like that. If you do see your friends tell him that I never wanted to hurt anybody. Oh, Dale. What is what is the, the, the hat that he's got on? It's like giver, but it's giver. Am I supposed to know what that means? Is it like a get her done type thing? Get her done. Get her done. You know what I mean? Yeah, get her done. Is that what that, I don't, giver? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Get her done. Please stop talking. Tucker. Hell, it's a trap. It's a what? It's a trap. It's what? a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh, god, oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I felt that. It didn't hit him, but I like I clenched. Whoo! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That just scared the sh <laughs> Let's get you down from there. Wait. Oh. Sorry about that. Ah, this vacation sucks. That couldn't have been good, like hanging upside down like that for that long. You're blood would rush to your head. I mean, I know it's like a movie, but I forget what it, like how long you can actually do that. Cause that's not good. Like I've seen pictures of people that are left like that for too long. They're dead and they, their head looked like a, like a grape. Ugh. You haven't done anything to me. Chad, this has all been a huge misunderstanding. We have to burn this place to the ground. Destroy it completely. Something is wrong with him. Like deep, psychologically within the brain. Something probably starting maybe with inception and in, in, like in utero. Maybe uh, there was like a lot of paint chips getting, I don't know, lead in the paint, I don't know. Mental institution, this <laughs> is crazy. I remember reading about this in my sociology class. It's called the Stockholm Syndrome. When someone who's been kidnapped ends up falling in love with their kidnapper. Nah, bitch, that's not like, she's only been quote unquote kidnapped for like 24 hours. You don't develop Stockholm syndrome that fast. Tell me! <laughs> hey! Let the girl go. Yeah, f that little polo wearing freak up. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could have fooled me. Fuck off, hillbilly. Eat shit, body perm. Wait! What did he call, what is a body perm? <laughs> what does that mean, body perm? Okay, Chad, you sit here, okay? Mr. <laughs> I like how like Allison's jeans that she's got on her little Daisy Dukes, instead of having them buttoned, she has them slightly unbuttoned and then folded over. Like, was that a look? Why? Now it's important that we communicate our feelings and, and understand each other's perspective before any progress can be made. Why don't you start? Well, where should I fucking begin? Oh, shut when the you think about fuck it. up. A long time ago, before I was born, 
Okay, maybe not that far. Back. This is important. Is it? Is anything coming out of your mouth right now actually important? It was 20 years ago. The Memorial Day Massacre. They brutally murdered everyone. Oh yeah, I forgot all about this. Like, what the, what the hell was this? My father was helpless, and he didn't even know that she was pregnant with me yet. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, I guess there's, this provides context, at least, if its parents were abducted and murdered and all that jazz. I mean, he's still a douchebag, but yeah, you know, there's, there's un uh, understanding. I have understanding. It doesn't excuse the popped collar, but it does provide some context. Are they drinking tea? I would totally love a cup of tea right now. How does she know that they're drinking tea? All she sees is them sitting there with cups. What would lead you to believe that it's tea? I mean, it is tea, but like, you know what I mean? It's so dumb, freaks! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> this movie is a series of unfortunate events. I could <laughs> Oh no, oh y'all, can, can y'all stop? stop no, 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 don't, don't use no, no, that. No, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he's been lit a flame. Stop, drop, and roll. Does that work? I don't know. No. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. She's about to go up in flames again. The 2000s just were not her years. <laughs> I'm a terrible therapist. What? No, no. That's not true, don't say that. I thought you did a great job in there. Yeah, I thought you did good too. You did what you needed to do. I don't think there was any getting through to your, your boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe we should help him. <laughs> oh, oh, that was him in the beginning. His crazy ass. I thought it was a zombie. I forgot about that too. And, and also with the fucking asthma. <laughs> look forward, Dale. Dale, look forward. Dale, Dale, Dale. <laughs> Oh, Dale, Dale, you big lovable goofball. Oh. Allison! She's gone. Where'd she go? Did that burnt idiot take her? Yes. I never should have talked to Allison. You were right. People like me and people like her just don't mix. That is not true. It is true. Wait a minute. What does he mean you were right? Wasn't he like telling you to talk to her? He was like boosting you up. Pro things probably would have been very, very different had you not approached her with a scythe. <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you is that you're better than you think you are. That girl sees it. I've seen the way that the two of you look at each other. Oh, he's a good friend. He's a good friend. I hope he doesn't die either. I hope both Tucker and Dale make it out of this. Well, and Allison, but especially Dale. Leave Dale alone. But yeah, let's let Tucker and Allison live too. She needs you now more than ever, especially because she's always falling down and hitting her head, knocking herself out. That is true. She's got a point. Granted, one of those is on Dale, but it was an accident. It was an accident. Friends forever. Best friends forever. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, with the hand, with the hand. Oh, but they're good friends. This warms my heart. I like this movie. Do me a favor. Anything. Kick the shit out of that little college dickhead for me, would you? I'm gonna shove my boot down his fucking throat. That's right, that's right. That needs to happen before the movie's out, <laughs> please. Cause that little dumb son bitch, I can't handle it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> what is the matter with you? What, what is the matter with me? Why is he tying her up like like he's like a super villain tying her to the fucking train tracks? <laughs> like what, what? Has he just fully lost it at this point? Oh. <sighs> Oh no, oh no, oh. You look like you stuck your face in strawberry jam. That is nasty looking. You want a killer hillbilly? I'll show you a killer hillbilly. Look at him strapping up. I'm so mad that I didn't see this movie earlier than this. This is too good. What are you wearing? What? Oh, I thought it might look kind of intimidating. Does it? Yeah. Sweet. So cute, I love him. <laughs> now help her. Less talky, more untie okay? Also, you should probably warn him that uh, Two-Face is running around here somewhere. What kind of knot is this? You think you're gonna win, but you're wrong. He kind of reminds me of, what movie was that? Was that Pet Cemetery? The ghost that he keeps seeing of the dead kid? I think that was also in Pet Cemetery too, I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. Now he's swinging from the rafters and shit. Uh, oh yeah, cause he's got like the blade thing on his foot. I don't know what the f that is even for, but it's useful, I guess. Whoa, what, 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 what? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, all right, look at you go, Dale. That's right, that's right. It's time for you to feel my pain. Your dumbass did it to yourself. You could have got back in your Escalade and just drove off into the sunset, but instead you decided to be nonsensical. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, okay. It's the fact that her hair is still laid perfectly right this entire movie. She has been knocked unconscious twice. She has been tied up. Again. A fucking game. Okay, let's move on. But she still looks fabulous. <laughs> Wait, he just found chamomile tea. She offered the idiot earlier chamomile tea and he said that he couldn't because it would mess with his asthma. So that means that that's gonna come back into play. That's how they're gonna defeat him. <laughs> that's your real father. No, <laughs> no. It's true, Chad. You're half hillbilly. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's the chamomile tea. What did I tell you? Oh. Damn. Bye. Good riddance. I thought he was gonna land on like equipment, like in Friday 13th part five, when he, Roy lands on the equipment. <laughs> the chaos and confusion of what transpired here last night is still being unraveled. What appears to be a tragic mass- Whatever, as long as Tucker and Dale are cleared of all charges, suspicion, that's all I care about. They found my fingers. Check it out. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Whose finger is that? <laughs> not hers, not hers, not hers either. Could they do that if they reattach your finger? At, Cause I know you have like a window where you can get your finger reattached. Can they reattach somebody else's finger and it would function? Is that a thing that could happen? Probably not, right? I don't know. Did you ask her out for God's sake? She kind of mentioned to me that she's a pretty darn good bowler. So we're going bowling. <laughs> Yay, he did ask her out. Oh, I'm so happy for them. I love it, I love it. You have to go after what you want because it sure as heck fire ain't just gonna fall right into your lap. I'm gonna go talk to her. Who, oh, 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 with the, with the, the teeth. I hope you don't think this is too stupid or whatever, but I got you a little something. Ah, uh, what is it? It's a helmet. It's a big helmet. <laughs> I think, you know, it might just be better if you wear that every day from now on. That is so cute because she's constantly getting clonked on the head. Oh, I love this. Let me just, let me just say this because I don't know if we're ever going to get to spend this kind of time together again. Oh, she better not break his heart. You know that. I... <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <gasps> oh, thank God. I don't want to cry. BJ! What? What did he just do? What is happening? Whatever. What? Oh, well. Do we, oh. I loved that. <laughs> I loved that. That was so much fun. <gasps> oh, I'm so upset that I hadn't seen this before. I wish I would have watched this years ago. This was so fun. The writing was really, really clever. The characters were hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Dale, Dale, y'all, Dale is, I just, like, 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 little teddy bear. I just want to keep him and hold him close and protect him at all costs. I, oh my God, I loved it. So, like, when I was goofing, Googling this movie to find it to where like where to watch it like it did say that it was a horror comedy So I didn't know kind of what the type of comedy was gonna be because like for myself I mean obviously I love comedies, but it's it, it's a certain kind of comedy that I like so I was wondering if this was gonna be more like Slapsticky type comedy because like friend like I like camp comedy and I like dry comedy I don't particularly like I don't know like like you know how like like, like scary movie 4 and then especially scary movie 5 how that like I don't know that went in a different direction. Like, I don't like that. Scary Movie 3, the best one. I like that. So yeah, I was very, very curious to see what was the brand of comedy. And surprisingly, like it was really well written. It was not constantly in your face obvious. There was some nuance to it. I, I don't know. I loved this. This was awesome. Yes. <laughs> and everybody got their happy ending. Oh, let me know what you guys thought about this movie down in the comments and I will see you next week.